Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 27th, 2020. Well, my goodness, we had quite an interesting day yesterday with a big gap up and then some bears came in to play at the end of the day, leaving behind a little bit of uncertainty. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we just kind of settle into our chairs, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, everyone, kind of an interesting turn of events. We had some bears pushing in here yesterday. They We briefly breached 25,000 in the Dow Jones yesterday, and then um, saw some bears coming in, and particularly um, a, a relatively harsh attack um, in the tech sector. But this morning on apparently news that investors are optimistic about the reopening of the economy, we are gapping to new highs once again. So yesterday we gapped up and we gave up uh, the run, the run back up um, after that gap. And now this morning we're gapping another 350 some points here in the Dow, bringing the two day total into the gaps of 850 some points and pretty much no movement after that. So kind of a frustrating situation for a retail trader unless you're already in bullish trades and you're getting the advantage of these pops. Luckily, I'm holding several bullish trades and um, getting uh, rewarded handsomely on them, but I got to tell you, it's a little bit difficult to hold them when we see that selling uh, coming in at the end of the day. So the question for today is after this big gap up this morning, will that once again attract some bears? Will we get follow through buying? What's going on here and what will that mean? Well, First off, let's take a look at the Dow. You can see the Dow has its next resistance level right here in the chart. I'm going to go ahead and mark a line right there. And we're going to be popping directly into that resistance level this morning at the opening gap. So we'll want to respect these this level of resistance here in the chart and notice that we're popping right up into that. If we take a look at the moving averages, take note that, um, let me get those lines on there, that this is where we're gapping up to. You can see right here, TC2000 gives us the opening uh, bid ask spread right there on that little red triangle. And as you can see, we're still below our 500 day and 200 day moving averages here in the Dow. However, if we take a look at the SPY, SPY once uh, breached 3000 yesterday, we actually pushed through that 3000 benchmark and then we ended up giving it up at the end of the day. This morning, we are going to gap up. And as you can see, we're gonna gap above yesterday's high pushing us well above 3,000 here in the chart. And that pushes us back above that 200 day moving average. Once again though, we'll wanna kind of pay attention to the fact that we have some price resistance right in here that we'll wanna be thinking about as we gap up this morning. Um, and the only reason I say that is you wanna be careful after an 850 point two day rally in the Dow, might not be the wisest decision to chase into this market this morning, wanting to rush in and just buy. We might wanna watch pretty carefully and make sure that we don't see some sellers uh, coming in or profit takers, or we wanna make sure that we see some actual follow through buying after the morning gap. So big pop up here this morning, pretty interesting situation. Um, here in the market. Let's take a look at the cues. Here's probably the most interesting. Yesterday we left behind a dark cloud cover in the NASDAQ. That shows us a little bit of concern here. And we were initially gapping a little bit higher here this morning um, in the QQQ and it slipped back a little bit. So we're once again 
pushing right back up into this resistance. But I gotta tell you that dark cloud cover gives me just a little bit of a pause here this morning. Um, watch that carefully in case some sellers come in here at the open. One real positive thing yesterday that did occur is notice that our 50 day moving average made it through the 200 day moving average in the chart. So we're pushing that back onto the right side here in the NASDAQ. And we we may honestly with this gap up open have reopened the opportunity or the the chance that we could attack all-time highs here in the market considering the actual condition of the economy that just seems remarkable to me but um, you know one of the things that I keep saying over and over I don't have to understand what's going on what I have to do is follow the price action in the charts and luckily that price action is bringing me some beautiful profits in my trading so um, I don't quite understand it but um, there it is and we just um, our job as traders is to follow the price action of the chart we don't necessarily have to understand why we're seeing so much rampant bullishness here let's take a look at IWM IWM um, also moving higher this morning I do have a credit spread on here that I was using to hedge the market that's going to be in a negative position uh, this morning you can see it was in a negative position yesterday but it came back and now another uh, push up this morning as we are leaping higher now one thing that's helping here in the um, IWM is that financials are finally getting into the to the game and we'll take a look at that in just a second but gapping up once again this morning now the question will become can we hold as we approach these resistance levels in the chart so let's watch that closely keeping in mind that we are still well below the 200 day moving average here on IWM let's take a look at what I was talking about financials had a big day yesterday the financial sector now I've said this multiple times we are not likely to see a sustained rally in the market unless we get the financials to move finally the financials got involved yesterday and really started moving up and you can see they're gapping higher this morning um, I have a position in XLF and I've added to that position in XLF um, as we have um, well last week I added to that position so feeling pretty good about that but with a second day leaping and leaving a gap behind there may be an opportunity here to take some profits rather than adding more onto that trade but it is nice to see those financials finally beginning to participate here with the market let's take a look at the VIX the VIX pulling back yesterday but saw a little bit of buying coming in here on VXX um, that little bit of concern as those sellers came in and now we're reversing that this morning so we're looking at a gap up that could push us down into here we may soon be attacking that 200 day moving average in um, the VIX and may finally be able to drop us back below a 25 handle here in the VIX let's watch that closely now if this gap up actually does bring in some profit takers like it may do with me today where I might take some profits or actually bring um, kind of attract some bears we'll want to watch that carefully because we if we push down our gap down this morning and then push up that could raise a little bit of fear in the market so watch that close and then t2122 this one um, I gotta tell you um, T2122 is just one of those remarkable indicators that does really, really well. Every time we reach up here in these kind of overextended areas, we eventually see a pullback. Now, we have had periods in T2122 where we um, laid around or held up here in this upper range for a while. You can see we can hold in the lower range for a while as well and right now we are pushing big time as a matter of fact uh, this morning on this morning's gap we're going to be pretty much pegged 
on T2122. That doesn't necessarily mean immediate sell-off or anything like that, but it does give us that indication in a two-day move where we've moved so much that we may be reaching an overbought or kind of a, an overstretched short-term uh, situation. So don't be surprised if you do see some profit taking or maybe even some bears coming into this move as we push this back up. So watch that carefully. And then if we take a look um, at T2101, this is the good side, the good news. Finally, yesterday we actually saw, and I think that it it's largely due to the financials um, really pushing along. We finally saw the absolute breadth index of the market break through the downtrend. So a nice move yesterday, and that's a good sign. That tells us that at least there was more of a broad-based rally than what we've been seeing lately, where just kind of the, the big four of the tech was doing all of the lifting. Yesterday, we attracted some buyers into a lot of different stocks and moving that breadth indicator higher. So perhaps that is indicating the bullishness that we're looking at this morning and maybe the possibility that we can follow through and push on through to the upside today. So watch that carefully. Let's take Take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar really has not much to say today. Whoops, sorry guys, I picked up that other window. Um, as you can see here, we don't have much in the way of reports to really move us around except maybe that beige book later on today. If we look in here, we have Bullard speaking. He seems to be kind of a media favorite um, of Fed speakers, and so it will be important to hear what he has to say, and he could definitely move the market around. But other than that, we don't have reports in here that will really uh, probably move us much overall. Keep in mind that tomorrow we're going to get durable goods, GDP, and jobless claims pending home sales, the petroleum report. We have a big day on the economic calendar tomorrow, so keep that in mind um, as you plan your risk moving forward. Um, could be an interesting day tomorrow. Um, particularly if we continue to just rampantly show bullishness. Let's take a look um, at some stocks that are going to report today. And yesterday, I, re I realized that after I'd finished the morning report, I had skipped over earnings. And I apologize for that, guys. I didn't mean to do that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could uh, be affected today on that earnings report. Um, we have U-Haul. U-Haul moved up sharply yesterday in this move, and right now the bid-ask spread is um, completely off the chart here um, in U-Haul. So I don't know where that report's going to come in or what time it comes in today, but pretty interesting um, to be watching. ADSK will be our biggest tech to be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on um, ASTK. Yesterday left behind a bit of a shooting star as we are approaching all-time highs here in the chart. We're bouncing around here about where we opened or closed yesterday. Um, might want to keep an eye on ADSK. This continues to show trend to the upside, and, but we're reaching that resistance up there. So keep a close eye on that report today. BMO, BMO also reporting uh, today. It looks like BMO is trying to show some bullishness this morning, trying to push a little bit higher. This one uh, yesterday uh, moved up strongly yesterday. And here again, this is those financial sector, those banks finally starting to pick up. So BMO, you might want to keep an eye on it today. Um, let's see, BGFV, um, big five sporting goods um, reporting this morning. Big shooting star gap up here yesterday and leaving them behind a little bit of concern um, in that candle pattern. But this morning, it looks like we're trying to move higher here this morning on that big five um, earnings report. How about box? Box breaking out uh, 
here um, the last few days breaking up here nicely and strong and you can see it looks like this morning it's holding up here very well I don't think it's reported yet but we'll want to keep an eye on that um, HPQ HPQ will be reporting today we'll want to keep an eye on HPQ we'll also in NetApp is also reporting today keep an eye on that we're indicated to open in you know just slightly higher this morning um, on that um, RL Ralph Lauren will be reporting today keep an eye on Ralph Lauren RY Royal Bank of Canada reporting today keep that one um, on your list for today Toll Brothers are also reporting we'll want to keep that one in mind looks like it is gapping a little bit higher this morning on its news VIPS VIPS gapping higher this morning right into some price resistance here in the chart uh, might want to be careful with that one gapping into that resistance and last but not least W day is one of the notables that I have on my list so we'll want to keep an eye on some of these stocks that are reporting today so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading um it's kind of an interesting market right now where the majority of the move happens in the gap so if you're not already in a trade you're kind of being left behind and um it's a little bit dangerous to chase after those big morning gaps so i can understand the frustration that a lot of you might be feeling but um, certainly the market is bullish at least at this point and the bulls are pushing really really hard so what does that mean for some stocks that could be setting up well if you guys would give me a second here um, we'll look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day but if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click those thumbs up buttons if you feel the video is worthy if you found that this helps you in your preparation for the day and the things that you might want to think about for the day please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment it helps us continue to grow Grow. and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that you guys are awesome I truly truly appreciate it and um, I can't say enough good things about you guys um, you humble me every day with your comments thank you let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up now yesterday I mentioned PKI PKI in the morning market prep and PKI popped and moved yesterday nicely in that morning move so we're up here testing um getting close to that 100 mark level which would be our all-time highs up here and you can see pki um, looking really good um, in this pattern here showing strength breaking through that wedge challenging this resistance this morning we're showing a pretty wide bid ass spread at least at this moment but watch that for some potential follow-through ccj is one that i was watching for a potential short yesterday bulls pushing this through saying nope we don't want to go down we want to go higher so what we want to watch in this is this next layer of resistance up here if this moves up triggers it into that resistance we'll want to watch that pretty carefully just in case we happen to fail and just keep in mind that right now we are still showing possible downtrend in ccj take a look at twitter twitter had a nice move up yesterday this was my alert down here we popped through that and we've been running ever since now this morning we're getting a pullback there's a little bit of controversy this morning about um, um, Twitter running some filters or fact-checking filters on things and may remove tweets um, kind of an interesting situation but um, Twitter getting a negative effect on that so watch this one now for any rest or pullback in here if we can hold some support there may be that opportunity then to pick up some Twitter if we can hold into that support take a look at Beyond Meat Beyond Meat I talked about yesterday it didn't make it through um, yesterday it popped up in the early morning and then pulled back to support but there's nothing wrong with this chart yet as we continue to move over to trend keep an eye on this for that opportunity that this could finally find that trend and pop on through to go higher Cisco Cisco is one that 
that I actually personally own. I bought the stock on this rather than the options because I want to hold this for a longer term. Gapped up yesterday morning, but pulled back. Now this morning you can see it's lifting a little bit here in this pattern. So keep an eye on that. One of the things that I'm going to be watching as we kind of complete this trend, as we slide over into here, that opportunity for that to move up. And I may actually add to that if I can get that bullish signal in here. I wanted this to rest and it has done that. So I may have to pick up some additional uh, stock in this uh, trade. We'll see how the day plays out. Take a look at EVER. EVER tried to pop yesterday, but left behind that bearish engulfing candle. This is one of those that now looks like it could go south or fail this um, support level up here. Watch this close. If it can find those buyers in here to hold on and pop through, might be something to watch, but it could also turn into that short trade. So watch that one pretty closely. Dollar General, Dollar General continues to slide in this very tight consolidation here. Watch this for any kind of bullish activity that may pop that through and start extending that next leg up um, in the chart. Um, CRWD, CRWD had a bearish engulfing candle yesterday. We moved up out of this pattern, but slipped yesterday. And we'll want to watch this carefully to see if this can hold, if those buyers and that bullishness today can push us on higher or not. Watch this one closely, kind of an interesting chart. Um, I'm going to talk just a little bit about some of the pay system stocks that started up yesterday, um, PayPal and then um, ultimately failed. We might want to be a little bit careful in some of these pay system stocks. PayPal, SQ, all leaving behind a little bit of concern. We had Visa doing that yesterday, but notice they're gapping up this morning. Pretty confusing or difficult market to trade, but watch those closely. And then in the financial sector, take a look at those stocks like Goldman. Goldman, beautiful bullish candle yesterday, big strong move, trying to break back higher. Any rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity. That would be our trend right there if it... Um, could rest in here, but you, as you can see this morning, we're gapping higher again this morning um, on these uh, financials. So watch those closely. Um, maybe a little bit stretched in the short term and need that rest or pullback, but could set up some opportunities. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything that I can do to uh, maybe improve these videos, please feel free to leave that in the comments below. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I wish you all of the best. Have a great one.